Hello and greetings uh, dear viewers. Today I have a poem about Anatoly Karpo and um, his second Simon uh, Furman. Uh, this is uh, quite an interesting story in terms of historical perspective and also gives you an idea about um, how a player of the stature of Karpo had um, a control over a lot of uh, things uh, that were going on uh, in the sports committee. Now, um, Gary Kasparo, when he's uh, writing um, about his matches with Karpo, um, is also very particular about this particular fact that Karpo did exercise some uh, good power uh, in the sense he had some great relations uh, with the Soviet authorities. And again, this can be considered as positive, this can be considered as negative. Uh, it is up to one to debate. But in this instance, um, there was um, a great player called as Furman I just mentioned. He worked for Anatoly Karpo and he had also, also worked for uh, Viktor Kochno as well. And uh, because of Karpo's connection with the uh, Soviet sports authority, uh, here is a situation where um, he was able to get out of and um, Karpo was instrumental for him to get out of. What am I talking about? Let's get into the details of the poem very briefly. So first is that uh, who is uh, Zeman Farman, very strong uh, player. Um, and uh, he's, uh, he was one of the well-respected trainers uh, in uh, the chess community. And you can imagine considering that he worked with uh, Viktor Kochnoi and Anatoly Karpo. And this was the situation that he was in. He, uh, in 1977, um, he was uh, working with uh, Karpo and he had also worked with Kochnoi. Now here comes uh, a situation wherein the Soviet sports authority warns Furman to work with Boris Spassky to beat uh, Viktor Kochno in the 1977 candidates final and Furman knew that if he is going to say no he would be um, in trouble. Now this is where um, uh, his friend Roshal, there's another chess player uh, named Roshal, he comes to the aid and he uh, calls up Anatoly Karpo and explains about the situation and uh, this is the um, uh, solution that they come up after the discussion. Um, Furman informs the Soviet authorities that Karpo forbids uh, him to work with um, uh, Boris Spassky because Karpo's secrets would be revealed to um, Spassky. In a way, the Soviet authorities don't press him much and they leave him um, as it is. Now, this goes to show um, the kind of uh, pressure that the great trainers were in. They were being called to assist multiple times. Uh, Korchnoi, uh, in fact, uh, when he was young, he was asked to work and give a report on some of the grandmasters uh, and their styles um, to uh, the Soviet players. Uh, Gary Kasparo was asked to work with uh, Anatoly Karpo when he was quite young. Um, and uh, Korchnoi also declined, um, saying that if I have to be a world champion, uh, I shouldn't be working with one. Gary Kasparo also declined. Um, and this goes to show that uh, with quality, there are going to be a lot of expectations. And this is an instance where Karpo, with the help of his connection, was able to help uh, his uh, trainer, uh, Simon Furman. So now that you understood the gist of what the poem is, let's get uh, into the poem. Uh, Simon uh, Furman, a talent so bright, called as the world champion in white, played high quality games with the white pieces, employing top notch tricks and ideas. Soviet sports authorities asked him to assist Spassky for the 1977 candidates' final match. This was an unacceptable ploy since Spassky's opponent was Korchnoi. Furman had worked with Korchnoi and ethics he wanted to employ to firmly say no and decline to the offer on the line. Roshal aided Furman having a discussion with Karpo the situation became clear. Karpo made the situation easier. Thus, Furman replied to the authorities, being Karpo's second, things would be risky if he went on to assist Spassky. Karpo forbids uh, this as a strainer I do not want to displace. Thus, the authorities released their grip, freeing Furman from a potentially dangerous trip. 
I hope you like the poem. Uh, as usual, the full poem uh, is in the description. And I wanted to mention uh, something about Furman and the quality. I mentioned that he was an excellent player, but the other thing um, that, that is the opening stanza is Furman was considered as world champion with white pieces, meaning that was the kind of quality of ideas, his opening expertise that he had. With Black, of course, uh, he had. Um, he did not have the results uh, as much as he had with white and this is again one of the factors why great players just uh, tend to recognize players of this particular ability and make them the trainer and that's the reason Corpo Korchnoi wanted him as the trainer. So that's it, uh, the full poem uh, as I just mentioned uh, in the description. Thank you very much for your time.